Tesla has become a trailblazer in the world of electric cars, and today the automaker is the number one electric car maker in the world. As the calls for cleaner energy continue to grow, the demand for electric cars has steadily increased. To meet the demand, Tesla has expanded its production capacity by opening new factories in different countries called Gigafactories. One of their new Gigafactories is the Giga Berlin factory in Grunheide. In this video, we will furnish you with critical updates and plans earmarked for the new factory. Not too long ago, the European Union signed off on the 1.6 billion car battery plant in Germany. The factory, according to Deutsche Welle, will cost about 4 billion at the end of completion. To facilitate its opening, the German government has issued over 1 billion to Tesla and reached an agreement with Tesla to grant them subsidies. The factory, located in Brandenburg, Grunheide, Berlin, and Southeast Central, will be a game changer for the electric auto industry. This is because Tesla plans to scale up production in the plant to about 500,000 EVs annually. The latest Tesla Y model series will be manufactured in this plant, and if you have been following the news of late, you will know that the Y model is Tesla's most advanced electric car yet. Cars are not the only things to be manufactured in Giga Berlin, though. In what Mr. Elon Musk hopes to be the biggest cell battery plant in the world, Model 4680 batteries will also be produced in Giga Berlin. The battery phase of Tesla's Giga factory falls under the EU's innovative 2.9 billion euros European Battery Innovation Project aimed at supporting innovation and research into battery creation and related value chain. The project was commissioned by the European Union to reduce the continent's dependence on other regions for batteries. Currently, Europe is largely dependent on Asia for batteries with 88% of its battery shipments coming from Asia alone. With the rising demand for electric cars and self-sustaining solar energy technologies for homes, the need to develop a model within the region was a priority for decision makers. The 4680 battery earmarked for production is different from the 2170 Panasonic batteries used in other Tesla models. By expanding their strategic goals to incorporate battery production into their product mix, Tesla is helping the EU meet its long-standing strategic goals while strengthening its relationship with the continent. There was intense competition among several countries to host the Giga Factory, with each individual country making a pitch to Tesla. This did not come as a surprise when you consider the positive economic impact Tesla's other Giga Factories have had on the economy of regions where they are located. Giga Berlin will be one of the largest car assembly plants in Europe, with a considerable number of workers needed. Data regarding the number of workers required in the factory has not yet been released, but if we consider the size and the workforce deployed in other Tesla's facilities, we expect Giga Berlin to employ at least 10,000 on-site workers. Indirect labor across the entire production value chain will be twice or thrice that number, further creating new jobs and boosting the region's economy. When Elon Musk announced in Berlin, Germany as their chosen location for Tesla's Gigafactory at the Das Goldin Lenkrad show in 2019, the company soon released information on their plans moving forward with batteries and powertrains being secondary products to the manufacturing in the plant. A new development design center was also planned in Berlin. Due to environmental challenges, however, the Giga 4 factory plans were scaled back, but by February 2020, a court decision permitted Tesla to kickstart the project, which is already underway. Tesla is not the only car and battery maker in the region. Companies like Northvolt, FCA, BMW, and Enel X already have factories in the area. Germany as a strategic base for these companies is not surprising. The country has a highly skilled workforce and an already thriving auto industry, home to popular car brands like Audi, BMW, and Mercedes. Establishing a factory in Europe will have far-reaching consequences for the company. In recent times, Tesla has faced a stiff challenge from other electric car makers whose technologies are as good as Tesla's. The Volkswagen ID3 is an advanced EV with extensive market reach in Europe. Audi's e-tron is another notable EV, attracting a lot of positive reviews from drivers and industry analysts. Both companies are German car makers, and as you know, German auto technology is highly sought after not only in Europe, but globally. By establishing a factory in the country, Elon Musk is positioning Tesla to be a prominent player in the European EV market. This move is pretty apparent when you consider how big this factory will be compared to the much smaller Tesla factory in Hetel, UK, or the one in Tilburg, Holland. Giga Berlin will increase the growing number of assembly plants Tesla owns across three continents. The Fremont factory in California produces 500,000 EVs annually, but due to COVID, the restrictions, the number of employees in the plant is unknown. The Nevada factory, situated in Reno, houses 10,000 employees and has created 30,000 indirect jobs. Their Giga Shanghai factory, opened in 2018, produces 5,000 cars daily and 250,000 vehicles a year. The factory costs $3.9 billion. The much smaller Tilburg factory in Holland has 500 employees, while the one in Hethel, UK, has 1,487 employees. We will not fail to mention the one at Mainlow Park, California, 
or the new one already under construction in Austin, Texas with a potential capacity to produce 500,000 cars yearly. These expansionist moves by Tesla keys into Elon Musk's long-term goals to meet the increasing demand for Tesla cars and to make the company a global, not just a U.S. brand. By incorporating battery manufacturing into their production plans as well, Tesla hopes to control the supply chain of a critical piece of infrastructure that their EVs rely on instead of contracting it to third-party battery manufacturers. Giga Berlin should be up and running by the third or fourth quarter of the year, and if their demand for Tesla's cars continues to rise, we might just see another Giga factory opening in another city in the not-too-distant future. Tesla is the fifth most valuable company in the world, with a current value of about $830 billion. As the company's share price continues to rise due to the growing demand for its batteries and electric cars, Elon Musk is positioning the company to upstage bigger brands in the coming years. Do you think Tesla may someday become a rich or even richer than Apple? Will its current position as a market leader in the EV industry be sustained? Or will it lose its place to other ambitious rivals? But they have more money and more influence than any other sector. So, I mean, the, the more that there can be sort of a popular uprising against that, the, the better. But I think the scientific fact of the matter is we are unavoidably headed towards some level of, of harm. So the sooner we can take action, the less harm will result. Wow. Holy crap. That's a good robot. Whoa. What is your grand vision for all of this? The point of, of the Gigafactory is to get the cost of batteries down to the point where it's affordable. Right. Batteries are critical to a sustainable energy future. The sun doesn't shine all the time, so you've got to store it in a battery. How is this going to help developing nations that have massive populations that need to have power? So the advantage of uh, solar and, and batteries is that you can avoid building electricity plants at all. So you could be a remote village and have solar panels that charge a battery pack that then supplies power to the to the whole village without ever having to run thousands of miles of high voltage cable all over the place. It's like what happened with uh, landline phones versus cellular phones. In a lot of developed countries, they just didn't do the landline phones. They just went straight to cellular. And we actually did the calculations to say, like, what would it take to transition the whole world to uh, sustainable energy? What kind of throughput would you actually need? Um, and you need 100 gigafactories. So 100 of these? 100 of these, yes. That would make the United States no, the, the whole world. The whole world? The whole world. All energy. That's it? Yeah. That sounds... That it's it's sound manageable. Like, that sounds manageable. Yeah. The Gigafactory, when it's complete, it'll have the largest footprint of any building in the world. Counting multiple levels, it could be as much as 15 million square feet. So Tesla can't build 100 uh, Gigafactories. The thing that's really gonna make a difference is if companies that are much bigger than Tesla do the same thing. If the big industrial companies in China and the US and, and Europe, the big car companies, if they also do this, then collectively we can accelerate the transition to sustainable energy. And if government sets the rules to favor sustainable energy, we can get there really quickly. But it's really fundamental. Unless there's a price put on carbon. We're never gonna be able to make the transition yeah. that we need to in time, correct? Yeah. And the only way to do that is basically with a carbon tax. Let us know what you think by dropping a comment below. Thanks for watching.